Good morning everyone. Welcome to Best Recipes with Sharon. Today I will show you how to make cake pops. This is exciting and a lot of fun. So let's get right to making them. So first you'll start by making up whatever cake batter that you want. It can be a cake mix or it can be from scratch. And for the sake of time today I made up two cake mixes. One was chocolate and the other was confetti. So I'll start by putting on some thin gloves. Now then just take and cut the cakes in half. I only used about half because it makes a lot of cake pops. So take that half and place it in a large mixing bowl. And use your hands and mix this till it's thoroughly crumbled. And you can see here the texture that you want where there's really no large chunks left in it. Now that I'm just going to add vanilla frosting to this, you start with just a little bit, mix it in, and if you need more you can add a little bit more, but if you start with too much you can't really go back on it as easily. So I would say about two tablespoons of frosting, but you can tell by the texture whether it's going to stick together or not. So then you just take little pieces of dough, you can form it into the balls in your hands like this. It's about probably a tablespoon and a half, just to make the right size of ball. Then I take and dip the sticks in some frosting and place it in the ball about halfway. Now this worked quite well, but you can also use melted chocolate to do the same thing. And the purpose for this is just so that it will secure your ball on the stick and it won't fall down the stick or fall off the stick quite as easily. And don't be discouraged if it does actually fall off your stick or crumble on you when you go to put the stick in the ball. I had about three that actually uh, crumbled on me in the process. So those are the ones that just get ate up early. I don't bother to try and recover them. <laughs> and I found it easier to make the balls all up at once and then add the sticks. Now you probably noticed I'm doing this outside on my patio today. It's a gorgeous day. Nice and cool in the morning. So on to making the chocolate ones. I'll take half of the chocolate cake, so that's one of the layers. I made that in a round cake pan. And just crumble it until it's nice and fine again. Now chocolate is my favorite, so I can't wait to try these. So you do the same thing. You just add your frosting. In this case, I'm adding chocolate on chocolate. So chocolate frosting and the chocolate cake. And just mix it together, probably a couple of tablespoons, maybe a little bit more. You'll know when you're mixing it whether it feels right or not. And as you can see here, this is about the right texture. And so once again, on to making your cake balls. Make them about the same size as you did with the confetti ones. And of course, you could use any cake batter for this. Whatever it is that you like, go ahead and use that. I have a lot of homemade cake recipes that uh, would work really well with this as well. Like I was thinking carrot cake would be nice and use cream cheese frosting. So use your imagination and just do whatever it is that comes to mind. So we're getting most of the balls pretty much made up here and it's time to put all the sticks on so we'll go ahead and get that done. Quite frankly this is the easiest part. I found that the dipping and decorating was quite tedious, uh, but if you work quickly, it turns out quite nice. And like I said, for the purpose of this video, I did use cake mixes and I used frosting that was already prepared. So that just cut down on a little bit of the time. And I kept paper towels handy so that I could wipe down the sticks as I needed to as well. So the amount of cake balls that I actually ended up making today was around 20 or so. And it is really handy to have the styrofoam piece that I have here because you're going to need that to put them in and to hold them especially when you're decorating and you need them to set. But right now you need to place them in the fridge and chill them for about 10 to 20 minutes. Once the cake pops have chilled for a bit. Just take them off the styrofoam and place them on a cookie sheet so that you're ready for dipping. I think I may have felt a little overly ambitious because I wanted to do many different types. So today I'm using milk chocolate, white chocolate, dark chocolate, 
peanut butter, and purple colored white chocolate. Now I started by melting the white chocolate. And you take and place that in the microwave for about 20 to 30 seconds at a time and stir it and don't do it for very long. You do it just until it's melted. Then you go ahead and take your cake balls and start dipping. You place them into the white chocolate. Don't twist it until you pull it out because you'll lose your cake ball. And you do have to work quite quickly because this does set fairly fast. Start your decorating right away while it's still wet. And yeah, I think I'll just do a few little sprinkles on this one. But if you're going to use the purple white chocolate, that would have to be melted up ahead a little bit. And you just take a Ziploc baggie, cut a little corner out of it, and that's all I use to do this with. And this one's a little bit of melted milk chocolate. Same thing, Ziploc baggie, cut a corner out of it. And I put a little bit of parchment paper down below to catch the drips. Next is some melted peanut butter chippets. And once again, you just use a Ziploc baggie, cut the corner out of it, and you just zigzag it back and forth like this, and whatever patterns you want. And I think I'll dress this one up a little bit more with some miniature Reese's Pieces. No matter which way you decorate these cake balls, they will need to be stored in a cool place to set. I put mine in the fridge. Now this one's just with some little miniature chocolate candy bits that I got at the bulk barn. I'll drizzle a little bit of milk chocolate over this one. And so you can see there's lots and lots of variations that you can do. So we'll move on now to doing the milk chocolate dipped ones. And the milk chocolate, it actually melted quite easily and it was a little bit more runny so it was easier to get it to actually coat. And when you go to coat it, you just lift it up like this and you just let it drip off until the excess is all gone. Sometimes you have to tap it on the edge of the glass a little bit. And with this milk chocolate being as runny as it is, if you add white chocolate over the top right away while it's still wet, you get this marbled look. Then we'll go on to the dark chocolate and we'll just start dipping a few in that. You can just leave them plain without any sprinkles or anything else on it if you just want them chocolate dipped. Now this purple dip, it was a little bit thicker than the rest and it was harder to work with. So I didn't enjoy this one quite as much. As you can see here, it's thick, but it worked and hey, it's really nice to look at. It added a lot of color to the display and you have to decorate it right away because it thickens and hardens really quick. Put a little bit of vegetable oil to this to even thin it a little bit as a little secret to try and help get it the right texture if you have that problem. Now as you can see there's quite a variety here which I'm quite pleased with the fact that I managed to pull this off but I had help. My granddaughter Kayla was here and helping me through this. She didn't want to be in the video but I owe her a huge shout out. Thank you so much Kayla. You're fun to work with. Your ideas and photography skills are awesome. Now back to the cake pops. If you want to give them away as gifts you can decorate them like this. And this is what we did with the other half of the cake and the leftover frosting. And this is what it looks like on the inside of one of the cake pops. These are so good. These are quite fun to make and it's really nice when you can get the family together to help make them and to help eat them. And you can make these for any reason. If you're having a party or a celebration, you can even color code them for what the event might be. And don't forget to store them in a cool place. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and go ahead and make some and have a lot of fun with it.